uh, why cyclopedia walls? Because uh, uh, these uh, walls have another type of construction uh, than Romans. You can find uh, uh, these big blocks set together without a mortar, of course. So precisely constructed that it is possible to insert also paper between two blocks. And there is another peculiarity. We found the same type of construction it's in Cusco, Peru. You can find the stone of 12 corners, but in the last day we have the stone of 10 corners. You see, this is me, and you saw you can have the proportion for this. <coughs> it's not a typical construction of the Romans, ancient Romans. Um, it's well preserved in this town, the Acropolis. That is visible here in this image. It is in the, in the center of the town, on the top <coughs> of the hill. Now, the uh, 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 Christian uh, cathedral is built over the, uh, uh, the ancient temple of the sun. But uh, uh, the previous image, you can see this. This is the, the base of the Temple of the Sun, and over there is the cathedral. But they used the, as base for the cathedral the ancient pagan temple. This is the aspect, it's a big perimeter uh, from, the, uh, from the sky. It's this is the, the, the shape of the Acropolis. Uh, in uh, 1918 here, an uh, uh, independent researcher, a uh, local mom, Don Giuseppe Capone, was the first to assume the town in its Acropolis were built following geometrical and especially astronomical principles. But uh, 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 his observation were confirmed by Anthony Lady, who is professor at the was professor at Colgate University in New York. And uh, they published the paper in 1985. But after this, we don't have anything about this, about this aspect. Um, Capone uh, observed that no. Uh, Underlined that uh, the uh, uh, ancient culture in the Indo European culture was uh, 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 directed to the sun. They use, uh, they use the sun as a point of reference. So we can say that uh, this uh, the town was built uh, um, like a mirror of the sky. And there is a, a significant <coughs> point. Uh, this uh, old, uh, old drop <coughs> stone here in the center of the um, of the Acropolis, which was used for taking all the um, references about uh, the movement of the stars and the sun. Oh, several doors surrounding the city were also located at a strategic point, but I want to say yes. Yes. This is the outcrop stone in this space. <coughs> um, here, just for an example, we have the minor gate of the three phallus for the symbol over it. That in the equinox is totally uh, lighted by the sun. In fact, the sunlight the steps within the door, drawing a perfect rectangular shape outside the gate. This is an example. So uh, we can say that uh, uh, the builders had a deep knowledge 
about the astronomical aspect. Because it's not too easy to place these so big blocks of 10 tons in the right position. And one of the interesting things is of this gate, if you have <coughs> one, two, three, four, five, until nine corners, steps. Uh, so you can use this like a calendar when you are pregnant. You can calculate with the sun when the, the, uh, the, the sun uh, will uh, born. Um, I spoke about the novel of the, of the uh, uh, town. It is lo located on the side of the cathedral now, but it was located also on the side of the temple of the pagan temple of the sun. Um, in the early morning, during so, summer solstice, it's possible to see the sun rising from the rocky off top facing north. This is another example, but, but I don't want to lose too time for explaining all the astronomical references. But I want to go on this argument, sacred science. <coughs> uh, we researched uh, with our meteorology for seven years. And tried, we tried to resolve some mysteries about, uh, uh, um, an enigma, about uh, uh, some sites. Uh, it's not possible to explain with other methods, with normal methods, with uh, short historic sources, uh, uh, pottery, uh, stratigraphy. So we tried uh, our hypothesis <coughs> for about second size uh, that uh, there is something in this uh, second size, something for natural, that uh, affect the mind of the people staying there. So they can reach better a mystic state in this place and not in that place. Because of the ancient population uh, uh, were more sensitive to these aspects, uh, probably they felt better uh, this aspect. They, they were more connected with natural uh, phenomena. So, uh, we use our methodology for uh, studying Alatri Acropolis between 2013 and 2016 with various visits. Because it was important, because we observed that this phenomena change in, in different seasons. We will see. Okay. Our hands discovered why the Acropolis was built on that particular hill and not the surrounding hill, because there are a, a landscape full of hills around this town. <laughs> Did the hill meet certain criteria of sanctity for the architect? It is possible there is something of circuit inside for the architect for building just there, the Acropolis. The Acropolis is for sure, because uh, the site of the temple is sacred site. If any natural or induced phenomenon were present, uh, um, we have two approaches. Uh, like uh, uh, what the world <coughs> said yesterday, we use electronic instrumentation as first but as a, as a second approach, medical anthropology, anthropological approach. This is my particular, because I am a medical doctor and, me, and a medical anthropologist. Uh, material method. We use uh, uh, three methodologies. <coughs> three methodologies for confirming the data of each other data. So the audio recording, the full audio spectrum, TLU technology, and the geophone, that is a, a geological device to confirm what we found by microphones, 
in the infrasound range because uh, we will speak after this is the the uh, uh, geo box uh, it was very difficult uh, uh, our our collaborator uh, needed uh, to make a course for understanding how to use this uh, for visiting different season this trip will be basically made of it is now a regular <coughs> protocol for our research in Europe now uh, we use this uh, protocol for all the uh, uh, second size we investigate in Europe. So, yesterday I told about this. Before recording, it is important to analyze the environment. <coughs> if there are some uh, electromagnetic <coughs> device, uh, mobile, uh, uh, radio station, which can affect uh, the results of recording. This is a spectrum analyzer by uh, Aronia. I have to say also the cost for who want to do, who want to follow this methodology. Um, it's uh, 400 euros, 400 euros. But uh, yeah, it's not too much. Let's pick the other device we have normally. Uh, okay. Uh, you saw yesterday the digital recorder. You have to use a digital recorder if you don't want to use this with the uh, uh, 192 kilohertz maximum setting rate at 24 bit. You have the best results. The best results. Uh, it's important to use high dynamic and professional studio microphone because we need to go on the ultrasound and infrasound. This is a good, uh, good uh, uh, microphone, studio microphone. It starts from 10 Hz to 60 kHz. So it covers a, 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 a grid band. But you have to use also shielded cables. Because uh, uh, you, uh, if there is a radio station, if there is a mobile, it's sufficient a mobile at uh, 20, 30 meters of distance for effecting if you have not shielded cables. Uh, the tier 2 camera uh, is known as a uh, manual camera of the Phoenix. <coughs> It uh, uh, comes from uh, industrial user. It's used by architects for uh, uh, watching the vibration of the building of, of the bridge when the lorry, very heavy, pass uh, uh, on the side. And uh, this is for for calculating uh, the movement of the object, the vibration of the object. Um, we use uh, the most expensive uh, of this methodology is uh, the, the software. So if you want to buy this, it's very expensive. It's around uh, 5,000, 7,000 euro. And, uh, uh, but you can save your money if you uh, uh, build by yourself uh, the camera. Normally, we might uh, um, use a normal Canon without an anti-liasing uh, filter. You can do this uh, directly in the, uh, in the factory, so you don't lose uh, the warranty, you don't lose the uh, scientific, uh, scientific use. I record a, a, a video, and after I use uh, the uh, uh, image software. So, you can do this not only in one moment, but also in different moments. Normally, when we organize a, a, a mission, we are not all, we, we, we cannot have all our devices, but we can record the emails and to analyze uh, in our laboratory after one month, after two weeks. Okay. Uh, the other, the third, methodology was this geobox. Geobox uh, is 2,500. <laughs> so you have an idea about uh, the expenses you have. 
what have you called this, this uh, equipment. It's, uh, it was built for geophysical survey. So you have uh, three sensor that, that is not microphones, but accelerator. So they measure the movement. <laughs> it's good for earthquakes. Oh, the results of the recording. The result was a very interesting frequency, 8, 9 hertz. Yesterday, I uh, heard about the Schumann resonance. So close to the Schumann resonance. And another one at uh, 32 hertz, minus 4, minus 42 dB. It's possible that, you see, this is on 32, this is on 8. There is another harmonic around 16, but it's not a good peak. Probably there is a resonance, and in fact, we discovered after a musical box, a, a grid cave below. Thank you to this, uh, for, thank you to uh, this device, the jukebox, <coughs> below the, the, uh, the Acropolis, making in resonance the vibration coming from below. Uh, we observed that during the summer solstice, there is more vibration, probably because the effect of the sun, for astronomical reasons. And there is a, everyone suffic sufficiently uh, uh, sensible <laughs> can uh, perceive this, this vibration, not like a vibration, like an image. Uh, we have to know that uh, in our body, in our body, we have some sensors used also from uh, uh, radio disease. We have the Meissner sensors in the palm of the hands and the feet and in the chest. I think you had, I think all, the experience when you go in for a rock music concert, you feel the bass frequency with your chest, not with your earth. They are Meissner sensors. Okay, oh, this, slide, this slide is because of uh, the question of yesterday. I said uh, before about minus for the minus 42 dB, decibel. But there is a great test. It's possible um, to have a, a misunderstanding about this. Because we have to distinguish the decibel and sound pressure level, that is a normal decibel we speak normally. We have, for example, at uh, uh, 780, um, <coughs> ah, yes, Jack Hammer, you have at, at, at 100 dB, but if for a, a silent speech, you have uh, 30, 20 dB. This is uh, the sound pressure level. In fact, if we speak normally dB SPL. Uh, in medicine, is uh, for it's important to know in a factory there is not too high level of the beam for the health of the workers. Another thing is decibel and signal level. When you have to measure, when you have to measure uh, with the, the digital, uh, with the digital recorder, <coughs> you have to consider that you have the zero is not no signal is the signal of distortion. So, you have all, uh, only uh, negative, negative numbers. So, so high is the number, so the level is low. It's the contrary than this sound pressure level. Okay, this is important. 
This is really important. Now, yeah. this is the original audio, but uh, I'm sorry, this uh, speaker is not good because 32 hertz, you can hear not very good. But in the cathedral, in total silence, all devices uh, switch off. No uh, uh, um, noise outside, uh, for example, cars, we made this during the night for having no uh, human activity. You can hear perfectly with your ears this sound. I transposed this, uh, this uh, 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 8 hertz to 24 hertz for hearing, but this uh, uh, woofer is not sufficient for hearing this. But it's interesting. You can find this uh, in this file. Okay, the result of the Dievo camera. Because the Dievo camera is uh, used by architect and, ha and uh, has a range between 0.1 to 12 hertz, not only we found the 8 hertz we recorded with audio system, but we found also another peak at 4 hertz. And this, uh, this uh, uh, sound is pulsing. Also, the 8 hertz are pulsing. But it is an interesting observation for the architects. You can see this uh, movement of the octro stone, but you don't see anything on the blocks because uh, these uh, 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 blocks not connected but uh, placed one against the other uh, reduce the vibration uh, uh, coming uh, from below. It's an anti-seismic anti 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 system. Very ancient but uh, effective. Very, very good. Good system. In fact, uh, this uh, this temple is the base for the cathedral. Uh, another important thing is this uh, rock is uh, fully immersed, immersed in, the, in the soil. So the vibration are coming through this rock to, uh, to the surface. It's a transducer. It is a transducer. It is transducer who is outside, but also inside the cathedral. You can see by table camera a vibration at 4 Hz and 8 Hz. It's interesting, this is the, the, the uh, gate of three fellows. Uh, it's possible to see how to work. You, you have this image by Terry. You set the image of Thierry with, the, with the, the, the normal photo and you have exactly the point of a solicitation of the structure. This is very good for architecture but also for the other architecture. Sorry for my broken English. Uh, you, have, you can see also the, dispatch, the, the spreading of the vibration in the eye starting from the, from the <coughs> surface to the air. Uh, the different colors is a different uh, vibration of the molecules of the area. Uh, yellow is very uh, high vibration until 12 hertz. And red, red, very, very high, blue, very low. So you can see it's not uh, uh, uniform. It's not uniform. The result of your box was the confirm of the other two methods. We have three peaks, 4 Hz, 8 Hz, 32 Hz. Uh, yes, a several meters instead of microphones. Uh, this is the job box placed over the surface, and this is a computer connected to the job box. But the job box was very important for another display because uh, it uh, uh, recorded an echo coming from below, <coughs> an echo coming from below. 
So, uh, it's very clear, it's very clear because it's used by, by ge geologists also for discovering this cavity below the surface. There is a cavity below the, 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 um, the Acropolis working as a, a multi musical box, box and amplification coming from the geological forms. Yes, geological forms. Because uh, we uh, uh, studied the, the, the map of geological forms and we discovered that uh, at the site uh, of the uh, uh, Acropolis there are two geological forms. So the friction of this uh, form, geological forms, are the origin of the vibration. And the cavity uh, 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 below the Acropolis acts as an amplifier of them. We start the discussion. There are, we use uh, an acoustic approach uh, with uh, uh, record uh, environmental vibration and studying the architecture of the, of the site. We took this approach for first. Uh, we saw this. But there is another. Yes, we use uh, digital recorders, <coughs> microphones. <coughs> but uh, there is also a medical anthropolog anthropologic approach. Because we have to consider an important thing. These sites, this temple, were built for the people, for the humans, not for the objects. So the relationship between the sacred site and, uh, and the brain is very important. We saw yesterday with uh, some presentation of this. This is uh, another site we visited uh, in Serbia, Felix Rogujana, and we started a lot. So we also applied uh, this approach in Anatri. Uh, by tier good camera, another use of tier good camera, because uh, uh, it uh, uh, records the micro movements also of the body, can give uh, another aspect. In fact, this device is well known and used by Secret Service as lie detector. Because uh, when we are saying a lie, we, we <coughs> start to vibrate. We start to vibrate. <laughs> we cannot see normally this. We cannot see. But the camera can see. So we have all the parameters, for example, aggressivity, and uh, Studying this, uh, uh, studying the people in this uh, in this uh, 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 site, we discover that uh, these, vibra these vibrations are in, uh, make a relaxation, uh, uh, the relaxation. Sorry for my English. <laughs> relaxation. We found that the vibration of the Acropolis has a relaxating relaxation effect on the people who remains for three minutes on the side. After four or five minutes, you have immediately less vibration in the body. So, it's a strong effect. It's a strong effect on the, on the uh, <coughs> human body. And especially on the human brain. So, this is an anthropological aspect. <coughs> uh, it's possible that uh, the seven, eight Hertz mm -hmm interfere with the brain activity of theta waves created in this situation. This is an hypothesis. But uh, in the laboratory of the University of Trieste, we published uh, other papers about this. And we discovered that the, the, this vibration arrived to the brain cell without passing the ear. So also a duff can feel this. Um, after visiting the 40 sacred sites, uh, we tried, uh, like a cook, to repeat the same experiment in the laboratory. And we observed another important thing. Normally, we have uh, uh, or we are sleeping or we are awake. We are concentrated. With the, the, with the sun vibration, the, the famous range. Uh, 
between 80 Hz and 130 or 40, we have a strong effect <coughs> in the mind. But we observe also that we can have uh, a state in which you are uh, awake. In the same moment, you have uh, the state of uh, sleeping, contemporary. So you have uh, lucid dreams, the ecstatic aspect, the mystic aspect, in which you have visions. So, uh, I want to include saying uh, that uh, those vibrations are really important. This infrasound, uh, having a great infrasound, have a great effect on the mind. Okay. Uh, we can say through our technology and method, the ancient population had a good knowledge of the brain. Empiric, sure. But effective. So we have to underline that uh, only trained people can take advantage from being uh, in this second size, the presence of right frequency. Yes. If you see this uh, diagram of EG, you can see the diagram of the person uh, who is not trained for meditation or praying. And here you have the diagram. Of the, uh, of the person who is trained to meditation and uh, and uh, uh, prayer. Okay, uh, we are studying now a, a nowadays site in Bosnia Herzegovina, Medjugorje. I think you know Medjugorje as a sacred site because we want to compare an ancient sacred site to the sacred site of nowadays. Uh, but in Earth, we found another, a lot of sites. I do here uh, six examples. Uh, Mount Fredone Dolmen, we will speak about uh, uh, it uh, in the afternoon. Uh, for example, okay. the Etruscan Pyramid of Bomazzo. The only one Etruscan pyramid you can find eight birds. It, it, it's carved in only one block. Probably it was uh, before the Etruscan civilization, but we cannot say as for that. Uh, the Etruscan necropolis of Marzabotto, in Reno Valley near Bologna, eight birds. Uh, Nemrut Mountain in Turkey. We found uh, the same eight hertz. Not only, but we found also in uh, the Attica Peninsula a Capsunion, where is uh, the Temple of Poseidon. We, we were not, we have not uh, the authorization for the Temple of Poseidon. We had authorization only for the Athena Temple. So we recorded the Athena Temple is destroyed, was destroyed totally, but the site remained there with the effect. <coughs> the fact to the people like before. And Mendesh, Mendesh, has eight hertz too. We uh, studied together with Fernando. We have to publish all this. But it was very, very, very interesting uh, place. Conclusions. Oh, we can suppose that the audible vibration were well perceived as a mystical voice by Silesian <coughs> who built the Acropolis. You listen to this. You listen to this. So, uh, uh, probably the people without television, without engine, without uh, uh, um, mobile, had better this vibration on the top of the disk. It's an hypothesis. It's an hypothesis. The civilization had a deep astronomical knowledge and built the town as a mirror of the sky. So we can suppose it had it had also more attention for any natural phenomena. I think yes. Uh, we think the history as uh, the ancient population were ignorant. It's not true. 
Sometimes they had more knowledge about uh, physical phenomena, empiric, yes, empiric, and brain activity more than us. Uh, the origin of the vibration are natural, and they are coming from the geological faults which run alongside the hills. <coughs> you, uh, you saw this on the uh, geological map. We can suppose that the sacred space on the top of the hill was recognized because it causes an altered state of mind toward the relaxation. Uh, they, uh, these people, uh, realized that uh, in that place it was better for praying and for meditating than the other hills. It's an hypothesis. It's an hypothesis. It's, it's an interpretation, an archaeocoustic interpretation. Last, the big rock acts as a transducer for the vibration coming from geological fault, which are amplified by the cavity found below the top. It's important, there is this cavity uh, uh, which acts as a musical box, so increase in that place, in that hill, the vibration respect to the, the surrounding hills. Oh, this is our group, we have 10 people, uh, uh, this is an Italian group, we lost the archaeologist recently. No, she didn't die. <laughs> no, she went away. And uh, the other, the other uh, uh, members of the group are from Macedonia, uh, Finland, uh, UK, Russia, Macedonia. <coughs> so, for me, it's very difficult because we have to speak among us in English. <coughs> you, you, you heard me. Okay, thank you very much for your It's very easy, if you are a sensitive person, not if you are a rock, <laughs> if, you, if you are sensitive, if you feel, if you set in this way your heart towards the, the, the soil, you can feel like a hickory. You can feel. So, probably, they were more sensitive than now. <coughs> and if you stay, sit down, in this way, you can feel on the palm or your feet very well. You understand this? Uh, so, without equipment, obviously you cannot feel it. Uh, you cannot measure it, but you can feel it as a person. The, uh, the cavity that is beneath the Acropolis, do you know how, how deep? it is, or how large it is, and if it was natural or man-made? Oh, okay. yes. Uh, um, it's a big rock, uh, I think uh, 30, 40 meters of diameter. It's not regular, it's not regular. Half of this is inside the, the, uh, the temple, um, half of, of this is outside the temple. So, it was very good for us for measuring having the path outside the temple. But uh, when we are in the, in the cathedral, you have a, uh, the most strong effect because you don't, he, you cannot hear the um, the environment uh, uh, noise, and you have uh, also a reverber reverberation inside the cathedral, who increase more the vibration. You have to consider also this. I didn't say it. You are right. You are right. 